Yeah, we're in the healing process, but I still have to draw my brows in after paying $350, and this is only after a week. But she called this, Lisa B, called this the healing process. So, um, yeah, if you want to pay $350 and then continue to draw your brows in, then she's the business and the person to go to. Only a week and my brows look horrible. Ms. Evans, you said a couple of times in that video after only a week you were still drawing your brows in. Yes. These are her aftercare instructions. And I follow all, her, all of her instructions. Well, one of the instructions very clearly says do not apply makeup over the healing area. But and there you are in that video applying makeup to your brows. Correct, because I mean, because like I said, my brows were cracking and they were peeling and they were falling off. So, I mean, I didn't want to go to work and go... Well, I understand your concerns, but you just said I followed those instructions perfectly, but you didn't. You were applying makeup. Judge Corriera. Micro shading is very much like a tattoo. Similar, yes. Tell me, what is your background and experience in order to do this? So my first and foremost background is a nurse. I've been a nurse for 23 years. So I've, I've worked with many type of patients in different fields of nursing. My second is um, certified and licensed in the state of Georgia. I also have my tattoo artistry license. I did training in California. I'm four times certified but I'm licensed. I'm a master uh, licensed brow artist and a brow trainer. Now, one thing that you said raised my eyebrows, <laughs> and that was distractions don't matter in this equation. And the plaintiff said that you were distracted when you were doing this procedure, that it was the last procedure of the day, it was about 4.30, that you were interrupted by telephone calls. That happened and those are distractions, but her allegation is that I was distracted, but she's saying that her brows were not dark enough. Not that I messed up on her brows. She never told me so about... So you're saying you weren't distracted to the point where you did this incorrectly... That is correct. ...or improperly. Is that your That is position? correct. I'm a high multitasker. I can do a lot of different things at one time. All right. What conversation was had about the color of her eyebrows? She never asked me what color I wanted. Is that correct? Did you have any no, conversation um, about the color? Because she's a dark-skinned lady, I already know that I'm going to do a darker brown on her. You assumed? No, I don't you assume. You assumed? I'm, a, I'm the expert. I know. I told her that I'm, I always tell my clients that I'm going to do a medium brown. Did you tell her specifically? Yes, I tell every client. Were you distracted to the extent that you may not have told her what the color situation was going to be? Absolutely about? not. This is something that I do with every client. Are there options other than medium brown? Yeah, there are options, just no black. So what if a client came in and said, I'm a micro shading expert? I want you to start with dark brown. What would you say? I would try to um, talk them out of doing that. But if they said, I know what I like and I want dark brown, would you do it? No. Okay. I think I have what I need. I have no further questions. Are we going to excuse both of you while we deliberate in this matter? Thank you both very much. This courtroom is now in recess. Go ahead and exit your situation. Um, so, this is kind of an unfortunate case because as much as I sympathize with the plaintiff and, you know, she had to go through this ugly period, right? <laughs> this very really uncomfortable period and she made the mistake of not reading these consent forms that clearly stated that a second session would be needed, that there were no refunds and gave her a timeline of what the healing process looked like and she just wasn't patient enough. and. Um, started applying things to her face that she shouldn't have. You know, I've got to take that into consideration for why she didn't get the, you know, results she wanted. What about the distractions? I think it's unprofessional, <laughs> but I don't think that that actually had anything to do with the issue of these brows aren't dark enough. Now, if she had an uneven, you know, situation going on, I'd maybe say, okay, if you paid attention sure. to that a little bit better, then maybe that wouldn't have happened. But as far as the color is concerned, I don't think that, that had anything to do with it. I have a suspicion, after hearing what the plaintiff said, that really the issue here is that she had something very specific in mind, which was brows for her birthday. And so she wanted to do this procedure and didn't do the research or, frankly, read the forms that would have explained to her that micro-shading is just not a quick process. And I think she wanted this immediate Done. satisfaction, yeah. essentially. Yes, this was, for her, something she really wanted for her cruise, which was coming up. Right. And I think that if she had followed up, she probably could have got the darker brows that she really wanted. And that's not the defendant's fault. I agree. Yeah. So the verdict. We have a verdict. We have a verdict. All right.